Right, welcome to the second Cambridge Technical Revision for Unit 3, Direct Forces. Um, we're going to continue our um, conversation and look at the Young's modulus for elasticity. So the Young's modulus is where well, we're talking about stress and strain. How <coughs> you can compare the stress and the strain of the material with other stress and strains of materials. And there's a very a typical graph that you should um, learn to recognize as part of um, being an engineer. And it's a, a graph that looks like this. And it's to do with the stress of the material as that increases and the strain of the material. Now, under certain circumstances, you, or under normal circumstances, you achieve what's called a linear elastic change under load. Um, something that obeys something you might be familiar with, Hooke's Law. Um, so we can illustrate that with an example of something elastic. So if we take a material as a steel rule, for example, and we place it under a load, you can see that it's bending under that load, but it it's elastic. It springs back to its original position. Um, and lots of materials do this. They do it under greater or lesser loads but they are effectively elastic. So encountering elastic deformation under load. That being said, if you take the load beyond a certain point, you can achieve a slightly different result. So it is a piece of material. Now this is it doesn't demonstrate elastic at all, it, it demonstrates plastic deformation. That is, the under load, it changes its shape and it cannot get back to its original shape, it's deformed. Now, most materials in engineering go through this graph and it has some very specific points that you need to be familiar with. First of which is There is a region which is reached where we have the limit of proportionality. This is the limit. At the moment you've got the stress going up in a linear in response to the strain, so they are directly proportional. At this point, the limit of proportionality, we're still within the elastic region, but there's a limit now. There's a, there's a material's beginning. So for the same amount of stress, it's beginning to change its length. At that point there, we're here, we're in the elastic region. So up to this point of stress, if you will, that amount of strain from that stress, and if you release that it would it's elastic, it would go back to its original. From this point it's reached the limit and it now very differently. It is into the plastic deformation or plastic region where it 
suffers plastic deformation under load, so it cannot, it's, it's permanently changed its shape and it cannot get back to its original shape. And the point here would be the fracture point, the point which the material would fracture. Now this is usually done under a, a tensile load, so it's the tensile um, modulus for elasticity, the Young's modulus for elasticity. And it's a graph that you need to gain some familiarity with. Maybe we're required to describe that in an examination. Now you wouldn't be expected to carry out calculations for um, each of your materials. Um, these are usually sort of given or you could be looked up and examined on a table. For example, something like um, concrete would have a value of 17 gigapascals. Um, that's effectively 17 times 10 to the 9 pascals as opposed to something like for example steel that might have 200 gigapascals so we're looking at 200 times 10 to the 9 pascals it's quite large numbers if we look at our example of the um, apple that we were playing with earlier you know, that apple on our cylinder material and we had a stress of we'll round these numbers nine nine eight point nine eight newtons per meter squared and we had a strain of um, ten percent or zero point one then we would get a Young's modulus Of nine eight nine point eight. Very very soft material indeed. So as a as a soft material, perhaps we need to explore a more real scenario that gives us. A, an idea of how a material behaves. And what we'll do is we'll be looking at a steel cable um, for a lift carrying a load of approximately 800 kilograms. And we'll see how that cable performs um, on the basis of the Young's modulus for, for a steel cable. And we'll also talk about something called factor of safety.